Hey, welcome back, peeps, and thanks for clicking on this video. Today, we take a look at a member of the Dora Milaje who figures to play a prominent role in next year's Wakanda Forever. I think most of us were surprised when she showed up in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier earlier this year. If you're new to the channel, we cover the backstories of comic book characters, especially those coming to, or rumored to be coming to, live action. So hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of your favorite comic book characters' backstories. With that said, let's find out who is Io. Ayo is a member of the Dora Milaje. The Dora Milaje serve as the personal bodyguards for the royal family. They are a pool of superior Wakandan women who are trained to be highly skilled warriors. The Dora Milaje stem from an ancient tradition where every tribe had the opportunity to send forward one representative from their tribe. The women were assembled as potential brides for an unmarried king. The Dora Milaje program had been discontinued but was recently reinstated to calm tribal unrest. Ayo stood out quickly upon arriving with all the other Dora Milaje trainees because of her overconfident attitude. She was quickly taught a lesson in humility by Captain Anika. Throughout the training, Ayo and Anika began to fall for each other. Ayo made it through the training and was initiated into the Dora Milaje. She was assigned to Queen Shuri's personal bodyguards. As she fulfilled her duties, she and Anika became closer. While Anika was freeing women who were being held against their will in cages by a chieftain, ended up killing the chieftain. She was arrested for his murder. Ayo went to the Golden Palace to plead to the queen to spare Anika from execution, but the sentence of death was upheld. Ayo then took matters into her own hands. She took two sets of a prototype of the Midnight Angel armor and broke Anika out of prison where she was being held until her death sentence was to be carried out. When they were out of danger, she gave the second Midnight Angel armor to Anika. They soon arrived at the bandit compound. There, they killed all the men running it to free all the women who were being held hostage. They freed the women and guided them to a village where they all stayed. While Anika and Ayo were away from the village, it was ravaged by the white guerrilla army. The women then banded together and became an army of self-proclaimed Dora Milaje. They then liberated and took over the Jabari lands and established their own government. They began gaining support from others as well. They entered into a cautious alliance with the rebel force called the People. Eventually, the Hatut Zarazi were sent to retake the Jabari lands. With the help of the group The People, they were able to defeat the Hatut Zarazi. Due to the hostile tactics that the people began to use, Ayo and Anika broke off the alliance with them. Ayo and Anika were then confronted by Shuri and asked to help defend the Golden City against the people. Not happy with assisting the king, they reluctantly agreed, choosing the lesser of what they felt were two evils. They helped the Black Panther and the forces of Wakanda to defeat the people. The Black Panther then realized the errors he had made. T'Challa set out to form a more democratic government with an elected leader. He would remain king, but as a representative of the people and not their ruler. Ayo and Anika realized there was good in T'Challa and began working with the royal family again. We have the upcoming Wakanda Forever, and we have a Disney Plus show about Wakanda in the works. Do you think Ayo is going to play a prominent role? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.